Folks, this is Andy from Andy's World Jetties. Here we are on the Gold Coast at Dreamworld. Folks, the Gold Coast, if it's known for anything, it's for its theme parks, Sea World, Movie World, Wet n Wild, and Dream World. Today, this is the only one I've never been to in my life of the four, and that's Dream World. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful Gold Coast day, of course it is, and we are here and we are ready to have a bit of fun and check out some of the rides. Before though, we do any of that, I'd like to let you know just how I got here. And to help me with that, I have my roving reporter on the scene at Helensvale Station right now. Andrew, it's over to you. Well, thank you, Andrew. You find me here with all the news that is news at Helensville Tram Station and Train Station, and also where you can get shuttle buses to all the theme parks. The buses run every five to 15 minutes, so there should be one along any second now. We are on our way to Dreamworld. This bus stops at all three of the uh, theme parks on this route. As I said, Dreamworld, Movie World, and Wet n Wild. I'm not sure which is the first stop, but we'll see. Hopefully it's Dreamworld. But I don't think so. I think Movie World's closer. Thanks, Andrew. And uh, I guess it's time to head inside Dreamworld and just see what they have on offer for your kids, for yourself, for the kid inside you. Because Dreamworld, it's where dreams are made, right? I don't know if that's their slogan, but it should be. Well, there we go, folks. Here we are at Dreamworld. Uh, we might go for a bit of a wander and uh, have a look at what sort of rides we might think about taking. But before we do that, and please excuse the uh, music, um, one of the reasons why there may be less people at Dreamworld uh, as opposed to the other places is simply because a few years ago now, I think, well, possibly t almost 10 years ago, they had a, um, a bit of a disaster on one of their rides. It was a, a water-based ride, like a, a, log, a log raft ride. Anyway, um, people died and there was a whole, there was a whole inquiry about it. So obviously it's pretty, pretty serious thing to happen. And um, anyway, the, the place was closed down. I don't know for how long. Like most theme parks, uh, Dreamworld will give you a ride express over there. Unlimited, 129.95. That's on top of your entry ticket. So you probably are wondering what the entry ticket was. The entry ticket was $99 Australian. So what's that? About $74 US uh, for the day. And that's booked online. I think it's an extra $10 if you get it here. Plenty going on here. There's a bit of a food festival happening. So it's a bit of an international food festival here at Dreamworld and you can see the people are enjoying themselves, trying out lots of different foods. Let's have a look at some rides here. We've got the claw there, which is uh, going back and forth and back and forth. That is a, a ticket for Vomitsville uh, and that is not one that you will get me on. This is Shockwave. like the uh, tamer version of the claw. I'm not sure I'd be uh, a fan of all the spinning. The spinning doesn't do it for me. And over there, it's highly possible I will go on no rides today. We've got lockers here and there, which I'm, I'll need if I'm gonna go on some rides. This is a Kung Fu Panda inspired section. Here's a ride that doesn't look too scary. I think I'm completely wrong. Firstly, I would rather be flung upside down than have to go round and round in one spot. 
or go from side to side. Yes, here we go. Dingy's glider. Definitely more my style. Oh wow, look, they're lying down. Lots of fun for the kids in there. Not for Andrew. Look. Nope. This is the escape from Madagascar ride. That is about my speed, I've got to tell you. And it, that, it doesn't look that terrifying. I think I could survive that. There is a Madagascar live show, but I've missed it. Maybe, just maybe, there was a second Madagascar show. I don't know, people are... Uh, Hey, this is for photos. Here we are. Chicken and wings, eh? Hey? Probably is time for a little bit of a, uh, a feed. Let's see what we can get. We've got burgers, we've got hot dogs. We've got all the usual things that one might expect. Hi, how are you going? Here at Food Central. This is my tally. I have uh, chips, a southern fried chicken burger, peeking out of the box, there we go, Hello. and a Pepsi Max there, $25.50 or so, so what's that, 20 US, 21 US, um, I'd say that's pretty average here uh, at these sort of places, so anyway, I'll let you know how it goes down, and then we're going to look at some rides. And done folks, folks are really, we are done with the food. I certainly chose the right time to have my lunch because the heavens just opened and it rained for a short burst. I think it's just about done now. You, yeah, I can't see any rain out there. Just incidentally, the food was actually quite nice, actually. It was a really nice burger, so fresh. I really liked it. So, you know, you don't mind paying 25 bucks for a, for a meal like this, if it's okay. This here is my express ride pass and uh, I'm going to use that I believe on the Gold Coaster which is a uh, roller coaster. Surprise surprise folks! And this one over here is the Sky Voyager and I'm about to give that one a burl. We have locker high here this is how you got to do it. I put my camera and stuff away and check out a few rides for a bit I think. $12 for a locker, eh? This is the price of progress. At least it's unlimited access. Sky Voyager here, folks. Let's join the queue. Somebody's got to solve the problem waiting so long in line at these places. Well, I think we're less than 30 minutes. That door said 30 minutes. So with a bit of luck, within 25, I'll be on the ride. Being a one has its advantages of going upstairs, going upstairs like I just don't care. Look at all those suckers down there. Camera has to go away, but that's what it looks like. So, one down, the Sky Voyager. It's like an uh, immersive experience. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. It's, it's like you're flying across all these different parts of Australia, uh, even included the Great Ocean Road, Sydney Harbour, and I think the Whitsundays, possibly. So, uh, yeah, it's a cool, cool ride. Apparently, it's pretty much the ride with the longest, with the longest um, queues. So, keep that in mind. There is the big shot. Uh, which we'll have a look at before we go. Uh, we've got a candy shop, we've got ice cream parlor, we've got uh, 
where we were just before so and there's loads and loads and loads uh, of, of things now also at um, dream world there is a section with animals that I haven't uh, explored today because it's just not why I came here I came here for you rides baby folks this is the gold coaster this is my first uh, roller coaster of the day uh, and we'll see what it's like there's the steel tie pan which I'm considering going on I thought no way Jose not in a million years but you know what We'll see. Oh jeepers, this one does a few loop-de-loops. I wasn't expecting that. I've got my ride pass. But it's only a short line to the ride. Who knows, I'll either be on the next one or one after. So I'm going to save it. believe me but I just did it and it was actually really cool actually I shouldn't have been freaked out it even put me upside down a couple of times yeah it's not that scary it was fun actually it was really fun um, and I enjoyed the two loop to loops which you can see loop to loop one and loop to loop two that has convinced me that I must do the Taipan because the lady next to me said that the Taipan was smoother and she liked it better but I think we're going to uh, we're going to check out Escape from Madagascar first. You feel something when you get off a roller coaster. You go, "Oh, I'm nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be." I must be much braver and a bigger person than I ever knew. No, you don't. Well, screw you then. It's a low key one for you, folks. It's a they term as a family ride, I believe. Escape from Madagascar. Madagascar. Uh, oh well, yeah, that was kind of fun, you know. Oh, it's enjoyable. Um, it's really, really short. Like it felt like it was 30 seconds. That one, that was even. That was the shortest one I've been on. The longest one so far is the Sky Voyager. But we're not done. We still have Steel Taipan. Okay, I thought after the uh, Gold Coast roller coaster it'd be easy. I'm not sure now.
definitely the best ride at Dreamworld. Don't miss this. This is badass, awesome fun. Directly behind me, you can see the giant drop. Not my kind of idea of fun, but you know what? It might be your kind of idea for fun, so why not? Basically, you go all the way up the top, then they drop you down. Let's see if we can see it working. Rain came back again. It's our third rain interruption, but it doesn't matter. I've had a great day here at Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. Uh, you know what? I was a bit nonplussed until I went on the rides. I forgot how much I absolutely love roller coasters, no matter how scared I was before I got on them. <laughs> anyway, without a doubt, the best ride here is still Taipei. You should take it because it's freaking awesome. Um, I really like the Gold Coast. The Gold Coaster, I don't know what it was called. The one on the green track, that was great too. In fact, they were all decent, they are all worthwhile. I mean, obviously there's plenty that I have not gone on, uh, including Pandemonium, which is right behind me here. Uh, no thank you very much. Who knows where I might go tomorrow? That could be a surprise for next week's vlog. So anyway, thank you as always for joining me because if it wasn't for you, I would have been here by myself. Yeah. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, take care, look after yourself. May all your pandas be Kung Fu pandas. May the journey never end. Naturally to exit, they make you walk through this big store. It's very counterintuitive. There it is, exit only. <sighs> nyop, nyop. Well, you've been dream world forever. Oh, through the Lego store. Don't miss your chance to buy some Lego. What more can we flog ya? Please, please give me your money. I like your money.